Hello, Paul is West for UK here and welcome to today's Game of Day video. As usual, we are looking at Acon Archimedes games on Game of Day. So let's have a look at this one. So got the disc inserted, so let's load up the game and see what we've got. And I've got the wrong disc in. Let me just correct this and we'll get straight into the game. Okay, after a bit of faffing around, I managed to put the right disc in. I forgot where I uh, left it on the uh, computer. So this one is called a Rockfall. Now don't confuse this with the ZX Spectrum version of Rockfall, which is a PD game also. This is PD as well. Uh, the Spectrum was a uh, cover type reader game. I don't know if you, that's classed as PD or if it's... Uh, class as a reader game but I think it's the same sort of thing isn't it because it's still made by homebrew community and etc etc so this is programmed by Mafia Seifert okay so let's okay it's gone into some sort of game demo mode here so okay I'm not sure what's going on Okay, that was weird. So we try and start the game this time and see if we can get something going on. Now into in level one. Okay, so just like the Spectrum reader game, this is also a Boulder Dash clone. That's what we'd like to see. I can't hear any sound on this one, so I don't think this one actually has sound, unfortunately. Not sure why you wouldn't include sound in a game um, with, this, with the power of the icon Archimedes. But yeah, this is definitely a Boulder Dash clone. The graphics are good. So, okay, so... You've got to collect the gems. You can see on the top you've got a hood and it tells you what your quality of gems is. Massive 96 gems to collect and I haven't saw one yet. So where are the gems? And I see these are the gems. They are the gems. I thought they was rocks. Okay, so we've lost our life here. For some reason, once you've lost our life, you can't seem to... Uh, Restart the, the level until the time runs out. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong here. I'll just wait. I'll just wait it out for the time to run out, and we'll try that again. So now we're into in player one. Right. So the gems are these blue things, which I thought originally was rocks. So let's collect them. There's like a little buddy there, sort of like doing his round. Okay. So we've got. You can see the gems is tallying down there. So we've got 57 to go. Let's sort of get as much of these as we can. It, on first impression, it was confusing because obviously on Boulder Dash and games such like, these have the appearance of the rocks that fall on you. And the game's actually called Rockfall. So you wouldn't have expected these to be gems, or Jay, you would have expected. Ah! Oh shit! You would have expected them to be the rocks. Okay, so let's uh, collect all these gems here. I thought the gems would have like a more of a diamond appearance, but no, they don't on this. Right, okay, so some more to go. Four more to go, and then we've done our quota. Holy crap, you don't get much time. So I got all the gems, but I ran out of time at the same time, so you've got to be really fast on this. Right, okay, let's go sweep through here. Sweep through, just don't stop. Just go as fast as you possibly can, because the time is actually running faster than my quality of gems at the minute so I've got to really be quick on this one ah I've done it wrong okay this seems like one of those games that's pretty unforgiving in the level of difficulty right I've got 23 to go so my gems tally is less than the time remaining which is good 14 to go I don't even know where the exit is once you've got your quarter of gems, so it's going to be... Oh no! I haven't got no time to do this! Eight seconds! Where's the exit? I need to find out where the exit is. That's hard, that is. I need to know where the exit is, to be honest, so I can figure out where to... There's the exit, okay. So I'm not going to do it now because I've just wasted that time finding the exit, you know. I've got a good strategy for this. 
Oh, I don't tell me I've got to wait for that to run down. Okay, that's worked. Okay, so if I go from left to right and then the remainder of the gems are more closer to the exit and maybe I've got more of a chance and I'll just miss that T there. Okay, this is very tight and strict with its time limit. This is going to be a really difficult level and this is only level one. Okay, let's try and do this. Uh, and you've got baddies on screen. You press escape to a... Uh... That's difficult, that is. Programmed by Matthew Seifert. Graphics by Stefan Butnia. Music by Mark. What music? I can't hear any music. It's not doing the music for some reason. Right, okay, let's try this again. Okay. You've got to be really quick on your toes with this. This is seriously not easy. And try and get them in rows like this. Right, I haven't got too many to go now. But once I start getting sparse and about the place, that's when you, you lose valuable seconds on the clock. Four, three, two, one. Okay, I've still got 20 seconds. Let's go for the exit. I know where the exit is. Let's go for it. See if we can make it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes. Now, I don't know where the sound is. Hmm. I think it might be an emulator problem. Okay. Let's just check the sound is enabled which it is so I don't know why there's no sound oh this one's got balloons now but I can't seem to walk as fast whoa here comes all the gems and shit oh shit it's caught in a chain reaction and bombs are exploding and shit and bombs are exploding and shit right okay so let's work out where we've got to go and watch out for this chain reaction up here yeah look at this oh shit spiders and all the gems are falling down nicely Right, don't let them land on your head because that will kill you. Oh, you fuck! See what I mean? I thought I'd tell you it would kill me. So, yeah, one thing to notice about the game, press escape once you die or you, you just have to wait the time out. So just press the escape key to uh, sort of escape that. Whoa, oh, you fuck! Right. Oh, the, the balloon got me. Oh, you booner. Yeah, this game's got a quite steep difficulty curve. It's only level two. Oh my life! All the bat, all the uh, gems come from all the directions. Game over, and yeah, let me guess—you have to start from the beginning. Of course you do. Okay, so that was Rockfall PD game on the Icon Archimedes. It's a good game, but for some reason the sound isn't working. I don't know if that's my emulator or if it actually has no sound. Uh, it's good because it's a Boulder Dash clone, but it's bad because it's impossible. <laughs> it's really difficult. Oh, I didn't realise you can make even more gems like that. It's really difficult. The difficulty curve is quite annoying, to be honest. It's, it's for experienced players only, I'd say. Uh, you've got very strict time limits and uh, very strict uh, quotas of gems to get before the time limit runs out. Anyway, I'm going to give this one a nice uh, 7 out of 10. It seems like quite fun to play. Um, I don't know how many Bald Dash clowns were on the Icon Archimedes. I'm guessing Repton definitely was. But yep, that's Rock 4, not to be confused with the Spectrum Rock 4 game. And uh, yep, see you in tomorrow's video. Thank you for watching.